Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to our RuneScape 2007 1-99 Prayer Guide. In this guide, I'm going to be giving you guys some information that I believe you're going to need to train your prayer level, but it's going to be a little bit different than my other guides. Since you don't really need a certain prayer level for any of these methods, I won't be saying which method to use at which level, I'm just going to talk about three different methods and the benefits of using them. As for money makers from prayer, there's really no direct money maker that I know of that gives you prayer XP, it's more about higher prayer level can help you out with other money makers for instance bossing any sort of PVM stuff like that so I really won't have any money making tips in this one either an item I'd like to talk about first off that can give you a little bit of extra prayer XP is the Bone Crusher. You can receive the Bone Crusher from completing your hard Mauritania diaries. If you have a Bone Crusher in your inventory when you kill a monster that drops bones, the bones will automatically be buried and you'll gain 50% of the XP you normally would have received if you just buried them yourself. You can bring that up to 100% by completing the Mauritania Elite Diaries. This is a helpful item for extra prayer XP, especially while you're doing Slayer or if you're in like the Catacombs for instance where you gain prayer points for burying bones. Bones. Very convenient. Let's talk about the Ectofunctus. Sacrificing your bones to this thing, I'm going to try to not say it again because I don't think I pronounce it right, instead of burying them, gives you four times the amount of experience you would have normally gotten. This is the best boost you can get per bone, but you can't just use the bones on it, unfortunately. It is recommended to have completed Ghosts Ahoy, so you can use the Ecto Feel to teleport directly here. First, you need to grind the bones into a pot. You're going to need one pot for every bone if you want to grind all your bones at once, or if you just worship for every like 14 bones or so, you only need a handful of pots. So grind your bones, you just make your way up to the second floor, you go ahead and use your bones on this hopper and your player will automatically begin to grind all of the bones in your inventory. Once you have your pots of bones, you're also going to need a bucket of slime for each of those pots. You can fill up buckets with slime underneath the ectofunctus. It is a process that can be sped up with high agility, so you can use the shortcuts, but agility is not required. Once you get your pots of bones and your bucket of slime, you can use them on this thing, and you will get your XP. You can either bank in Port Phasmatis, which, keep in mind, requires Ecto tokens to enter, or you can teleport somewhere like Castle Wars and teleport back with your Ecto feel. Because of the length of this process, it's not the fastest prayer XP in the game, but it's going to give you the most XP per bone, so it'll save you some money in the long run, or if you're collecting your own bones, for instance, if you're an Iron Man, you don't have to collect as many bones. The next method for training prayer also uses regular bones, but instead of burying them, you can use them on a gilded altar. You can build many different kinds of altars in a player-owned home that bones can be sacrificed to, depending on the tier of the altar and the incense that are next to it, lit, hopefully. You can get up to 3.5 times XP per bone. You don't need your own gilded altar to do this, though. In World 330, there are many player hosts that host all these altars for free, but they do accept donations, of course. There are a few popular ways to use Gilded Altars. Many players use a Mounted Glory in the house that's being hosted, or even their own house, to tally to Edgeville, bank, house, teleport back, and continue using the bones on there. Another option is to use the Remington Portal and have your bones unnoted from the man named Feel, just south of the portal, for a very small fee. It is not a very far run, so this is definitely another fast method to use them, but the idea is you're trying to use as many bones on the altar as possible, as quickly as possible. When you use the bones on the altar, though, you could just Use one and let your player go through your whole inventory to give a little bit of an AFK factor, or if you don't mind the click intensity, you can use each bone on the altar to speed up the process. This is going to give you better XP, but of course, depends on which way you're feeling it. Using a gilded altar tends to be the most popular way to train prayer because you can get some very fast XP, but keep in mind, it is going to cost you a lot of money. The last method that I want to talk about is in Sold Heads. First, you need to unlock the Archaeus Spellbook, which does require 60% favor in the Archaeus House. You can use spells in the spellbook to reanimate and sold heads into their reanimated creatures. When you kill these creatures, you gain some prayer XP. You can only use these spells near the dark altar north of the Archaeus Library unless you just got the head as a drop yourself and you have not left the area and it has not been too long, you can use the spell right then and there. This method provides a solid combination of good XP rates but not sending, spending quite as much money. I would suggest having fairy rings unlocked for when you do need to bank. There are some magic level requirements for the spells of course, but each monster reanimated has the same amount of XP per kill, so killing the monsters should all be the same no matter which one you fight. Uh, of course if you are, if you're inhibited because of your magic level, you can still have some good options to get the prayer up with some of the lower ones, 
but a higher magic level can help you out here. The XP rates could slightly differ depending on your combat stats because you do have to kill these monsters, but they only have 35 health apiece. Uh, if you feel like you're too weak to kill them, you can safe spot them. Either way, it does turn out to be a, a pretty efficient way to stay at decent XP rates and not spend money, so it is a fairly popular option. I believe that's all the information that I wanted to give you about getting 99 prayer. That should be everything you need. Of course, you could just do things like bury your bones all the way to 99 prayer. There's a lot of different ways to do it. These are just the ways that I would suggest doing it. Uh, if you have any tips yourself or any questions about training prayer, be sure to leave those in the comments section. I usually try to keep these guides updated with annotations, but unfortunately YouTube is taking annotations away from us, so I won't be able to do that anymore. Uh, that means if you want to look for updates to the guide after it's been released, you will just have to go look through the comments section, which hopefully you have posted your tips and questions there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed, got some useful information, and best of luck training your prayer. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and tell us what you enjoyed about it. If you're looking for some more RuneScape videos like this one, then be sure to join the cul-de-sac by subscribing for more. We will see you next time.